I would like to introduce you to my newest best friend. <laughs> Thank you, Tim Jin, who's a struggling comedian. He, Tim graduated from Cal State Long Beach in speech communication, which I love. He currently works for Teacher Created Resources. He's been an active member on several advisory boards, such as the IS IHSS, the USC University Center for Excellence, and he serves on the Self-Determination Program Local Advisory Committee for the Regional Center of Orange County, which is where I met him. And he came up to me, I gave a training, and he came up to me after my training and completely blew me away and made me want to cry, not because of anything he said about himself, but what he talked about my own son because I talk about my son in my trainings, and he made me feel so good about my own son, and I realized that that is why we work with consumers, to make ourselves feel better. So that is, so I then immediately emailed him the next day and said, you have to come speak at our conference, and he said yes immediately, and I'm so thrilled. So I would now like to introduce you to Tim Jin. Good afternoon. My name is Tim. What a great conference that we are having. I would like to thank the other self-advocates who already presented to us and appreciate all that they have overcome. We all learned a great deal from your stories. Thank you. I have broken up my talk in separate eight parts on my communicator. It will give you time to close your eyes and nod off. Hopefully I will go in sequence. When Judy Mark asked me if I could speak at this conference, I couldn't say no. I have only met Judy about a month ago and she seems like a very nice lady, but seems like the kind of lady that gets what she wants. How could I not say yes? I know that Judy gets what she wants because I've already revised my talk for her about four times already. The next one won't be on the house. Ha, ha. Hopefully Judy is not listening because if you see me stuck at some antique conference hall, you will understand why, and please help. I'm just joking. I have a feeling of Judy, and I will be friends for a very long time. All kidding aside, I am very pleased to speak to you about my self-advocacy. As you can tell, I type with my toes, and I also have cerebral palsy. I did not get the mild kind of CP, as you can see from my spasticity. Hopefully, some of you are laughing, or else this joke has gone very wrong. Ha, ha. I graduated from college, work, and been living on my own with supportive living for almost 15 years, and I am officially in my fourth decade, plus one year, just a few weeks ago. I am 41 for those who are not good with math. <laughs> Self-advocacy has always been a part of my life. You name it, I have probably advocated in what I needed. Since we are closing out the first day of this conference, and some of us are ready for happy hour, including myself, I want to give you a light and fun story on my life and how self-advocacy got me to skydive. When I was growing up, my parents treated me the same as my two brothers. They always told me that nothing was impossible. Sure, they did not give me a knife to cut bread, but pretty much, nothing was impossible. I have always wanted to go skydiving. A few years ago, I finally set my mind to jump out of a plane. My doctor signed me off and saw no problem at all. For many months, I had been talking to a skydiving place up in Lake Elsinore. We finally set a date on my 39th birthday. I was super stoked. When I got to the place and maybe I was too excited, but my CP was out of control. I met with a head instructor and he denied me to jump. I was pissed off like no other. It was such a waste of time. He gave me a skydiving shirt and told me that I was brave. Whatever. <laughs> I could have given up and let us go, but not me. I rarely gave up and not try again. A month later, I jumped out of a perfectly good plane and lived to tell you about it. I never gave up. I found another skydiving place in late Paris that could handle my disability out. As soon as I got into the door, there was no question that I would be jumping out into the sky and falling down. My friends asked if my mom and dad knew about it before, and the answer is a no. 
They found out after I showed them a video at a family function. It was my pleasure at speaking to you today. Thank you. Did I tell you he was a struggling comedian? Yeah. <laughs>